Hey, welcome everybody. I'm D Shaky. I'm with Mr. Mocha Lover today. We're playing as the Soviet Union and Communist China. We're gonna take over this world. Things are just getting started. We're finishing up a civil war, and we're about to probably go to war with Germany. It really depends, I guess. I don't really know what's gonna happen. Stalemate in Europe with the Allies and Axis. This was maybe historical. It's hard to tell at this point. I don't know. Yeah, so like D-Shaky said, he wants to take over the world, so apparently, if you leave a comment below, maybe, maybe D-Shaky will take over the entire world and install world communism. Sounds like a great plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. Tell me in the comments below how much you appreciate our new communist world order, how much you want to support it. <laughs> donate to the communist world order <laughs> yeah, Patreon donate to the today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Patreon, yeah, we'll start a GoFundMe for the new, new world order. Ah, oh, yes. Very good, very good. But yeah, we should be able to finish up China this episode. I mean, China, China. Well, they are 99% of the way towards capitulation. And also, I did check as we were loading up the game. This is on historical, even though it really doesn't feel like it whatsoever. So. Uh, yeah, that this is the weirdest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> I, I, just, I don't know. Historical uh, must be broken or something. Just like, look, Denmark, just nothing makes sense. I just got a new general spending my political power. My general's name, he's a cavalry leader, or officer, his name is Dong Dong. <laughs> <laughs> Dong Dong, ride the horses? Uh, uh, secure victory? Hey, I sometimes got... I can't tell if this is historical or if this, these are Road to 56 insider jokes, I don't know. Oh my goodness, let's see. I'm gonna look it up. Dong Dong. Whoa. Uh, cool. Let's see. Let's let time go on a little bit more. Dali. It shouldn't take too long for us to finish the Civil War here. Um, no, I don't... No? Richard Bong? No, no. I don't I don't think Dong Dong's a real guy. Maybe it's procedural generation or Maybe. something, and it just happened to go to that. <laughs> Did you start with him, or is he one of the guys you... I just recruited, recruited him. Literally, uh, just as we yeah. began this episode. <laughs> You just got lucky then. Yeah, I got lucky with Dong Dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's speed her up. This shouldn't take too long. Get that encirclement done. They tried to escape using a port, but I said, nah, not today, son. How many? How, how are they not capitulated yet? Wait, they're at zero percent. Wait, how are they at zero percent? Ah. Oh, you might wait. It's like it, it might be it might be doing a thing where they survive in Taiwan or something. I don't know. That would actually be very cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That actually. Should... Oh, they canceled. Germany just canceled the non-aggression pact. So... Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I'll get set up around. Uh, I can uh, send volunteers once my war's over. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or hopefully you can join the faction. Hopefully. Oh, that's true. If you get oh. that spirit or whatever. Removed. Yeah, I need to do found our nation. So where I need, after I decide my capital, I actually go to war economy. Oh, that's not bad. And yeah, I can send volunteer forces. I get a research slot and rename myself to the People's Republic of China. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, yes. What do I want to research? Uh, I don't know. I, investing into air as the Soviet Union is sometimes oh bad, God. but I'd like some casts. Uh, my pen I have such a high penalty to do electronic engineering. I don't even have 1936 mechanical computing. It takes 600 days to research. Uh, uh, why? 600 days? 600, it's 1940 for 1936 stuff still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, we win with bodies. A little too much. <laughs> why, game? Why must you hurt me? Let's see. Uh, nope, no one has passed us. Upgrade is fine. Okay, Ireland. You do Ireland's you. Ireland's in. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh boy. Wait, was that, was that a war? Yep, Germany declared war on France. Hey! Yeah, it's definitely not a two-front war. Now, I wonder if they'll be able to actually push through the Maginot Line. Maginot Line. I, I don't know. They probably won't. I've seen them <laughs> push through think... it before, but... Yeah. <sighs> It's hard to say. I almost will think that, that they might just be in a stalemate with the Allies at this point, because the Allies are really strong right now. They have Mexico, Canada. They have Mexico, which is weird. Canada, of course, but... And Italy. Oh, yeah, Italy, yeah. yeah. Republican Italy, yeah. I don't know, as the long US as Germany might... defends, they'll be fine, but... Yeah. 
Oh, what's that? What's is going that on? You? I don't know. It says peace conference is over calculating effects. Oh, so it must have just been some. What? What? Oh, you just got everything. Okay, that's good. Woo! They're done. We See, they are in Taiwan. It, that's really. That's actually really cool. That. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool mechanic. All right. Well, the smaller Chinese. Well, we just made an encirclement, and they're gonna die now. Oh, yeah, I was just waiting for it. this to be an epic troll and for everything to go back to where when I saw White Peace, I was a little scared there. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I was like, oh, Good, do I yeah. get to keep Manchuria or not? Oh, God. Trying to kill a few non is going to be a pain in the booty. Uh... Oh, they're out of manpower. So that's okay. How are they out of manpower? I mean, it's only you non, but still. Give me one of these dudes. Come take this area. Hi, non. Hi, cool. Hi, cool. Is that Japanese? Haiku? Yeah, it's down in Hainan with that little southern Chinese island. Yeah. Hmm. I know I'm losing a lot of guys, but at this point, do I really care about losing guys? Not really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. I'm, I'm out of. I have a big deficit of equipment, but. Eh. If they're out do of manpower or whatever. Or? Uh, I mean, I, I could always use whatever you have, but. Yeah, because I'm just sitting around at, like, a 60,000 surplus. Hmm. Ah, I'm not even guns. making guns at this point. Uh, I'd recommend make, make, maybe uh, making, like, two. Maybe, maybe two guns at, at a time, maybe. Uh. Yeah, pretty I'm throwing everything into artillery. Oh, actually, I'm at a positive in artillery now. I can actually start making some stuff to defend nice. against Germany. Uh, well, I don't know if I'll be defending against Germany. It's not looking the best for them right now. Uh, did they push in? Oh, no, they haven't yet. That's good. Nope. But... They're just mass assaulting the Maginot. Unsuccessful. Nice. That's alright. You can kill all the allies by yourself anyways, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, there goes Yunnan. Yunnanese equipment seized. Oh. They're not meant for, meant for that to run. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Alright, so you all are over there. You all are kind of over there. Since we're here, um, how about we take a quick strip... A strip? No, not stripping right now. <laughs> a quick trip to uh, those happy monasteries. Oh, yes. Yeah, the happy monasteries. Cool. Can't found our nation yet. Oh, we can do the PLA, People's Liberation Army. Nice. We can do that. Dare to Die Corps. We still are at war. You know what? Uh, we're gonna wait to do that for the next time. Yeah, we must do that. PLA. PLA it is. And once Germany declares war on you or whatever, if it happens, I'll, I'll yeah. lower the speed. I might go on the offensive on them if they take too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just go to war with Iran. <laughs> just randomly just go to war with those guys instead. <laughs> yeah. I wonder... Oh, Brussels... Wait, they're democratic. This is so Brussels, Brussels. Hmm. I don't know. Can I tell you? Uh, let's get a cruiser hull. I'm going to need boats if we're going to if we're going to invade America. Also, I do own Northern Malay. It's not bad. Get a little rubber. Uh, division designer. Do we have anything else here? No. Duplicate. Wow. That's a lot of uh, army XP. Oh yeah, how much are you sitting at? Guess. Um, six hundred. More. Seven hundred. More. At fifteen hundred. Yeah, a thousand. I think you captured a thousand, but god dang. Yeah, oh yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm at like nine forty right now. I've been trying to use it any way I can, just with researching land doctrines and stuff. Oh yeah. Oof. That early war helped so much. It's insane. <laughs> Very nice. Come on, yeah, We're going to have some amazing tanks. We don't even need tanks if Germany can't even win them. Uh, let's see how long is it going to take me to... I wonder if anyone's going to... I mean, I have 50 million manpower right now, but... I should be able to take Tibet with just guys, guns, and artillery pieces. Should. I should. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah. I'm almost tempted to just go in against Germany right now. Hmm. Oh, but don't you want to have war. more of a struggle? Yeah. That's true, yeah. I'll, I mean, you I'll can. I'm ready. not going to stop just... it. Go right ahead. Knock on the German's <laughs> front door and be like, Hello! 
Uh, yeah, uh, I, I kind of want to be the good guys. I want to give them a chance, but <laughs> I think they're going to lose against the allies, though. How about Finland? Go to Finland. It's 1940. Oh, yeah. It is. Ah, I keep forgetting about Finland. Oh, yeah. That's okay. A lot of people do. Well, well I'm going to demand the Baltics first and then go after Finland yeah, last. Yeah. I, I really don't know what's going to happen because they're in this faction, though. Oh, I wait. Are they in the allies them. or something? Or Yeah, the Poland thing. Oh, the Metamores. Okay. Yeah. I can't imagine Poland still leads that, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Yeah, that's true. That they're definitely not a major. So Germany has lost sixty-seven million. Oh, not sixty-seven thousand, not million. <laughs> France has lost yeah. over half a million. The UK has lost over three hundred seventy thousand. What? what? Are they that's attacking insane. Germany? They have to be yeah, attacking. Yeah, they must be attacking them. Oh man! I thought Germany was. Whoa! Oh. Oh that's... yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we're gonna have a battle in that case if they wear out all their, if they use up all their manpower and supply right now, they're gonna get crushed. Nice. Okay, yeah, they're still submitting even though they're in that faction, so everything's fine. You know, I honestly probably would as well. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Will Germany give up Bessarabia? That's the question. <laughs> Oh, I, <clears throat> I see you did something there, huh? Hmm? You got some explaining Wait, what did I do? to do? Uh, there's a guy named El Trotskarino. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got some explaining to do there, man, Joey? Oh, yeah, no explaining necessary. I, I have no clue. Nice. Oops. Uh, is that the last China? Well, I guess he's almost. Tibetan. Yeah. Sings Jane. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Tibet will fall soon enough. And we're going to take Zhu Di. Come to terrible infrastructure of up there. And have good time. Thank you. Available Wargol. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Hey, there goes a Tibet. Okay. Congratulations. Congrats on your new Tibet, sir. You must be very proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the proud owner of a new Tibet. And I'm a proud owner of a new Estonia. <laughs> uh, perfect. Let's let him go on a little bit more. The real question is if Germany will ever go to war with Netherlands. They apparently didn't get a war goal against them. I maybe... was wondering the same thing. Like, oh, the French actually yeah. pushed through a little bit. Oh yeah, right there by Luxembourg. By Luxembourg. Muslim. They're they have probably about thirty thousand manpower left. Oh, I can choose a Chinese capital. Sorry, I gotta slow it down a little bit. At the end of the Chinese Civil War, what do we do? Northern China? I can send volunteers. Old Southern Capital in Shanghai. No need to move. Ah, uh, we'll go to Beijing. Oh yeah, nice. Kind of by the sea. Well, yeah, I didn't want to get to Shanghai. Shanghai is... I think it's quite literally on the ocean, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite literally on the ocean. So... Yeah. Ah, uh, that might not be very bueno. It's time to industrialize, my friends. 100% infrastructure. What have I been doing? That's so nice. German interest in Scandinavia, eh? Ah. Well, they already have Denmark, and they're already at war with Norway, so I don't know what the point of that is. Sweden! For <laughs> oh, yeah, if they go to war with Sweden, that's. Oh, look at that. Germany that's kicked something. out the Italians from Istria. Nice job, Germany. Oh, yeah. Ah, there they go. Oh, there they are. Oh, the French have been Could pushing be in a little it? bit more. Than, yeah, it might be. Reclaim mm -hmm. Xinjiang. We've already done that. I need to complete Founder Nation. It's time for me to found our nation. Ah, oh, can't wait. I'm a nation builder with the help of <laughs> Joey Stalin. Now, how oh, fast yeah. is the Netherlands going to capitulate? I, I hope it's fast. I'm, I'm actually rooting for Germany. I want to actually have a battle today, but... A massive battle. I don't know about this. We're on five speed and not much is happening. They have about 20,000 manpower-ish for the Dutch. The UK probably oh, they lost. They lost a the tile. Oh. Uh, Belgium only has less than 20,000-ish. France has 15, maybe. Germany has over a million. Oh, oh, they cut off a little group. Careful, man. Oh, they pushed into Eupen. I think that's Eupen. Maybe? No, Maastricht. Maastricht. God, I love how much political power. I don't know how much. Wait, what is that? Fushim uh, oil deposits. 
France is pushing it further into the Rhineland, though, so... But at what cost? Well, I guess technically, like, whatever. God, what... Most of the land. This is weird. I'm at peace. This is weird. <laughs> oh, I got so many extra guns. Nice, I can split up some of this stuff. Alright, so do that. Flush everything else out a little bit better. Share the factories around. Well, Germany is slowly winning against the Dutch. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you're doing claims on Bessarabia, huh? Yeah, I am. I'm going to see if Germany actually gives it to me. I'm not uh, sure if they will. Um. Oh, there goes Iceland. Okay, bye-bye, Iceland. Oh, yeah. Uh, how many divisions do you have? Me? Not very many right now, only like 50. But I'm training another bit. I have like 200,000 guns right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can invite King, King to my uh, faction. Hold, hold, hold I... on, hold on. Uh, my tree is mine. Okay, okay. Yeah, you it's don't want to backstab me. <laughs> that's yeah, some, I'll deny their request. That's some wild, like, three, 40 chests right there. You help me, <laughs> I go to war with them. You can declare war on me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have. Hey, look at me. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Suppress counter revolutionaries. We get more political power. Oh, I want Dare to Die, but we'll get a war with that later on. Found the NDCPRC. Huh. Oh, I can do Soviet cooperation. There goes Yugoslavia. Or the new communism. Hmm. Oh no, I do land reform. For eight for eighteen hundred fifty days, I get minus forty five percent recruitable population factor. Huh. Well, I guess that's not too big of a deal for you. But suppressing counter revolutionaries, casual suppression, please. Thank you. Just a little bit of suppression doesn't hurt, right? Just a little bit. Oh yeah. Just have to hit the sweet spot. <laughs> now, it looks like Germany's starting to have problems in the Netherlands. France probably got some divisions in there or something. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, they're taking a third of a million casualties. The Allies yeah. have lost about one and a half million. Oh, oh boy. Um, um. We're going to resync. This happens about one once an episode, once every episode. That's okay. That's okay. We here, we're professionals. We can fix this real quick. If the people are watching, you might want to skip ahead a minute. I'm not going to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, and I promise I cleared my cash many, many times. Oh, yeah, we, we both did. We, we both did our problems. cash. Yeah. We good now. We even verified our installation files. Yeah, it might just be my internet hiccuping a little, possibly. It might be mine, too. So. Yeah. I get kind of bad connection later in the day. Usually not bad enough to desync me, but... Yeah, yeah, That's all right. <laughs> yes, yeah. But all I can say is that, look at that, the People's Republic of China. Come on, PRC, spon uh, sponsor me. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? They, they start sending you some $10,000 checks to be playing them. And then play hey man, it. I'll play it in vanilla, I'll play it in Road to 56, I will play it also in Kaiserreich. I've done it once, I'll do it again. <laughs> oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Now we can send the ultimatum to Finland. Do these guys have a unique focus tree? They do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, who are you looking at? The Carpatho oh. Ukraine focus tree. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's the US. Oh, well, uh, that's going to be a short lived axis. How do I get this political yep. power again? Collect a civilian aluminum utensils. What? <laughs> I can take. My question. Oh, I'm at oh, I'm at war economy. Oh, I can build more. Oh, yes, we're going to industrialize quickly, sons. Uh, I get more daily communism, but I don't think I need more if I'm at 100% already. Probably. Yeah, most likely, unless you get some bad events or something that start popping up. Industry-wise, that's not bad. I need Urum Koi. Ooh, we get 10%. Hold on. 10% industrial research speed, 25% fuel refining research speed, and then fuel gain per oil plus 10%. That's not bad. The other one's pretty good, but I need Urum Koi, which is here in Sinkiang. I might wait to get that one. Hmm. Okay, Finland, 
Finland rejected our demands. So oh, yes, yes. Time. Yes. Oh, wait. Finland is guaranteed by the one tile Poland. <laughs> um, uh, Poland? Are you sure about that? Yeah, please, Poland. Uh. Uh. Oh, so now... Okay, so even now, um, Germany's taking up the, the Partho Union, or whatever they call it. I don't know. Because you're in the Allies. The yeah. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Here's the thing, though. If I declare war on Finland, they're democratic, and I and with how things have been going this game, they they probably are gonna join the Allies just based off of past events in this game. So far. nice. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to go to war with the Allies or Germany? Hey, man, I'm not like... in your faction. You do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Huh. Yeah, it's time to start using these two hundred thousand guns we forded. Let's. I, I'll start making an army. Hmm. If that's the case, I will start putting armies around all supposedly good intentioned allies. Like yeah, even Siam's in the allies, and they're fascist. Wait, what? Well, because oh. I think we took them out earlier when oh. Italy capitulated. That's how come my own southern oh, yeah. Siam. I love free oh, yeah, rubber. It's just weird that they're not democratic. Hmm. Wait, who's sending me? What? what? Japan is giving me guns. Thanks, Japan. Oh, the that's nice. Good I knew job, we were buddies. Japan. You and me forever, Japan. Oh, as long as you're under those guys called the Soviets. So are you war with Finland? No. Oh. Well, my war goal isn't ready, but I could oh. declare war. But they're, they're probably going to join the Allies. But, are, oh yeah, I guess they're not. Yeah, they're not in any. I guess, hey, Poland does have a faction and is guaranteeing them, so they might join Poland's faction. It's so Poland risk is... worth taking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just get ready with the defense in case. Hopefully you got some garrison soldiers, right? Dallas. What? You have some oh, garrison soldiers, like, for, like, ports and stuff? Um, maybe. Maybe, <laughs> probably. I, no, no, I don't. That's okay. I mean, I'm, I I just started making my own because I couldn't afford it earlier. Yeah. Oops. I'm training a few. I'd be pretty surprised. I almost want to just let the allies land and then I can encircle their mm -hmm. landings or whatever. Because there's not many ways I can actually fight them. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. The allies... Uh, Germany probably needs some help against them. Yeah, let them come into your lands. Then you'll be fighting the U.S. and you'll be like, "Wow, this kind of sucks." But you're like, "Okay, we can do it." No. <laughs> yeah. Japan has a really good defense, at least. So I don't, I'm not worried about them. Then the U.S. just nukes Japan twice. Oops, it's over. <laughs> Oop, yep, exactly. Oh no. Oh yeah, and we own all of Japan's islands. I forgot. I better defend all those. Keep these guys in place. Oh man, this war against Sin Kyung is so garbage. I'm gonna yeah. lose so many guys. It's just uh, fighting this area really sucks. I could send some air volunteers if that helps. If you have an air base over there. Uh, I can really area. make one pretty quickly. There we go. Hey, look. Yeah, sure. Sure. Fine with me. Totally fine with me. You know okay, what? With yeah. this, I'm gonna get some more war bonds. I gotta produce things like yesterday, like build, 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 everyone. Like the Stalin has his five-year plan. We have our like two and a half-year plan. Like we gotta <laughs> move fast. So where am I getting? Oh, I uh, forgot to set my occupation laws for the Baltics. Mm. That's all right. That's all right. Let's hurry and fix that. How much manpower does Sin Kyung have? Uh, twenty-five to forty-four thousand. I probably yeah, I'm out of guns. I'm completely out of guns and artillery. Wow. Uh, if we could just break through, just just, just a little break through. At least the Baltic's look nice. Germany's pushed the French back. 
Oh boy. He's got foreign volunteers. Wow. I did not know that was even a thing. Okay, let's hope that Finland doesn't join the allies right here. This this could be scary. Do it, do it, do it. Mm. Um, how do I get naval XP? <laughs> <laughs> By training. I think training your navy is the only way. Um, oh, bet you don't have a navy. I don't right? have. Okay. I have small pontoon boats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you might have to get it through the, your focus tree then. Oh, no. I just want to suppress counter revolutionaries, that's all. <laughs> hmm. Do I get new communism beacon? Or Soviet cooperation. Obviously Soviet cooperation right there. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we work together. You don't need your own beacon. Let's see. First five year plan. The 156 project. Ooh, plus 50% construction speed. That's not bad. Hire Soviets. Can I join your faction if I go that way? It doesn't say I really can though. I can create my own faction if I wanted to, but probably not. Excerpt influence. Yeah. Anti-Soviet revisionism aim? Hmm. I'll get 3% more manpower because China definitely needs that. I can yeah. get a wargle against the Soviet Union. Hey, 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 we can deal with that later once the capitalists are dealt with, okay? What are you, forgetting the fascists? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, them too, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the fascists aren't doing so well right now, though. I'm not too worried about them. Oh, nice. The first one is done. Ready to go. Oh, my goodness. This takes forever to kill these guys off. Bunch of crazies. Oh, look. Nice. We got the first batch out. You should be led by no one yet, because we don't really need you to be led by anybody. Bop. I have suppressed some counter revolutionaries. Um, uh, first five-year plan. I have to be at peace for that, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do land reform. We might, a couple people might get hungry here. Wink, wink, and nudge, nudge. You know, land reform didn't hurt anyone ever in the history of China. Never. Fake news. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Capitalist propaganda. Yeah. Never. Never happened. Thirty to forty million people. They did not go bye bye. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I do want, though, like, Viet Vietnam under me, though. I think that'd be kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. I was playing in a game the other day, and China got into Vietnam, and they never got out of Vietnam for, like, <laughs> five years. AI China, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh, that sounds so lovely. Happy 1941, everyone. Happy 1941. Hope you're all oh, yeah. Happy great. New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Just casually causing a few conflicts. That's all. Yeah. Oh, I still need their own clay. Come on, man. Just give it up. Sin Kyung. Man, if they don't, you don't let me win, I'm going to put you all in camps. Totally not historical either. Totally not historical. I don't even know, is it Uyghurs? Uyghurs? Those people in very western China? Um, yeah, yeah, never hmm. gonna have a problem here. Never, not gonna put them in, in any sort of camps that, where they can concentrate. Totally not. <laughs> Just hand over your capital and you'll be fine. Wink, wink. You don't mind That's me nice. getting encircled in Finland. It's, it's just part of the process. Oh, hello. <laughs> you got a lot of lakes around there, man. Or little little streams. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these are got the capital. Savo, huh? Yeah. They just do not want to capitulate. I just like Germany and the Allies. Yeah. Oh, might be this oh, island. Oh, oh, Am I oh. going to have to naval invade them? Uh, oh, god dang it. They put guys in there. What the heck? Oh, man. I'm killing my guys off. Holy cow. Crow? Cow. It's been a long <laughs> day. Okay, Honduras. Well, good for you. Honduras, nice. Welcome. Well, not welcome. 
bad for you. Hold on, we're not the allies here. Hold on. Good one, two. Uh, did you send the planes over to Da Ban Cheng? Oh no, I sorry, I wasn't looking over there. Cool, I could really use yeah. them. Hmm, These guys some reason. got to be out of manpower by now. Yeah, they're completely out of manpower. They're still putting up a good fight, but still. Maybe I'll have to resend it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm at war. I can't send volunteers, no, of course. No, no, you that weren't chosen sense. one. <laughs> uh. Would it be possible for you to give me a lend lease, then? Uh, maybe, like, a hundred planes? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, I'm not making... Oh, yeah, I, I, I have some planes. Let me just... Hurry and do this in Finland, just a second, and then I can... Stop. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, I'm killing my guys Maybe off, just trying to defeat these guys. They're, I literally killed off all their manpower, but... Even then, it's not enough. Yeah. Hmm. Supply. Or so maybe bad. we could just go down to two speed for a second, so uh, I can cool. hurry and help fine. you with those blinds. Sure. But it looks like we might have to end this episode here, though, once you send me some planes. Oh, yes. And to there. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Good stuffs. Cool. So would you like to end the episode, my friend? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you all for joining us today. It's been it's been fun. <laughs> I, I'm excited to see where things go. Remember to like my video, like Mr. Mark Lover's video too, <laughs> to you know incentivize us to continue making these fun videos, and we will see you all next time.